Same. Right there. Look at our lovely. Look at these. Yes. This could be the thumbnail. Yes, why not? Yes. <laughs> Hello. You all love it when I film in my bathroom. I think it's because my bathroom is so authentic. It's the original 1930s bathroom here in my wonderful block in London. And I love it. I absolutely love the colour of the tiles. I have a plant here that apparently keeps the air fresh and it thrives on um, humidity, which it is in here. How on earth do I keep this towel up? How do these people do it when they do commercials? for hours with the t anyway no doubt this is going to fall off I'm going to have to cut at some point I have been watching oh my gosh I, so we all we all have our favorite youtubers and there's someone I've never mentioned you, to you before she's a she's a Swedish youtuber who lives my dream she lives in a hut in the middle of a forest in Sweden her name is Jonah Jinton she's much younger than me and she lives this extraordinary life and I her, her vlogs are about an hour long, sometimes longer. Not much happens other than just watching her true authentic self in this forest and nature and how she survives. It's amazing. Anyway, it leads me on to my interest in a brand that I'm now going to talk about who reached out to me. So I am known for my authenticity and probably... Um, I get myself in, well in the past I've got myself into a lot of trouble through it, but I'm 67 now and I just believe if you're not authentic, especially on social media, you're going to be caught out. So for any brand, especially a young Scandinavian brand, to reach out to me, not that I have thousands of followers, they just like my authenticity and I think they like the intelligence of my audience and that is you. So how fantastic is that? But also they've done me a favor because I, they're called Mantle, Mantle. As I'm talking, you might like to Google them, but they are, they were started by two Swedish girls and I have always had an interest in CBD oil, but everyone I know who uses it um, has said to me, you need to source the best. There's a lot of Stuff that's probably very diluted out there on the market you need it if you're going to use CBD oil and benefit from everything that it has and my goodness me I've been doing my research it is it the benefits of it well we'll go into in a moment but you need to source it um, from the best possible source so this is a skincare brand called Mantle from Scandinavia from Sweden everyone in Sweden is talking about it I think I'm probably one of the first to introduce it to you here in this country, although Vogue have um, written about it quite extensively. They use CBD oil, so their products are powered by CBD oil. Not only that, this is farmed in a tiny little farm in Switzerland, and the, excuse me, I've just got mascara on got on my hand. Um, the leaves are hand harvested and they're cold pressed. So all of that is really important otherwise you don't know where the oil is coming from. And CBD is calming, it's healing, it's antioxidant, it's restorative and in their products they are powered, all the other ingredients, through CBD oil and I just, this is the first time I've ever used it so I've waited until I know the history of the product before I start using it. So, yes, let me just tell you what I'm gonna, so they do a face uh, range as well, but I'm using the body range because I love what, so there's two things they say, which is, let me just, and also, how wonderful is this packaging? So this, I know aesthetics aren't everything, but this is rather nice to have in the bathroom, isn't it? Especially when you know what it contains. Um, but there's two things they say that I absolutely love, which is uh, the best ideas come from breaking the rules. That is how I should live my life. It's how I have lived my life. Um, but also they say we haven't got time for the 12 steps of um, face uh, cleansing and oiling and nourishing. Um, and it's the same for your body. I haven't got time to spend endlessly on my body, I just want it to look its best. I want it to look 
healthy. So I am going to concentrate on their body products. They have skin products which are amazing. In fact, one of my products I'm using benefits from their research into face serums and that's that one which I'll come on to later. So I'm going to keep it really simple because that's what they do. They use great words like slap it on and um, rub it in and they say, so we're us influencers, we're always told, we're given a brief as to what to say when we look at products and they say we don't want you to use the word anti-aging, we don't want you to use the word uh, beautiful, we want you to just be authentic, we don't want music running, we don't want special lights, there are no special lights in here, um, there's one overhead light, um, and I have a ring light who's going to be on my arm, which I will turn on in a moment, but anyway, let me just get on, so I have chosen, and I've been using these for about a week, and you would have seen on my vlog when I was wearing my sundress, how glowy my skin is, I would show you this on my legs, but it means I have to move the camera and I just don't want to do that. I, I want to be as authentic as they are. So it's called The Mantle and I'm using their Hot X. Their Hot X. What a great word, or should I say, what is a great title. So this is, as it says, the Hot X. So they just say, slap it on. Now all their ingredients, as I say, are powered by cannabis, but they've also got botanicals, and they just say, use it sparingly. So, oh my gosh, you rub this in. As you're rubbing it in, the smell is amazing. They have a signature sort of citrus smell. Look at this. And you are exfoliating. And then you simply shower it off. And it will leave your skin hydrated and bouncy. Bouncy is a word that they use a great deal in mantle. I love that, the bounciness. Now, I'm not cutting away. Sorry, everybody, but this is how I'm going to do it because I don't want to cut. I want you to see this in one take. So that is their hot X, their hot exfoliator. Simple as that, that you can use all over the body. Keep this towel up or I will have to cut. Um, and it smells absolutely beautiful and it's like that. So if you fake tan like I do, which isn't authentic at all, is it? Um, you've got to have a good base. So this is wonderful. So it's left my skin feeling incredibly hydrated and bouncy. And that's what they say about um, cannabis, the cannabis oil. It hydrates, it bounces, it heals, it soothes and it calms. Now, what I have been doing is I use the Hot X and I follow it by the whip. And this, and again, they say, when you're using this, just slap it on. We don't want any of this aesthetic sort of, you know, gently fingertips, and that. just slap it on. Look at that. Just look at that. Now, one of these products, I think it's the Hot X, also has Q10 in it. Um, they have vitamin E, they have hyaluronic acid, they have shea butter, and you just slap it on like that and because of the hot x hot x it just sinks in beautifully so already i have a glow now imagine if i did that all over my body but i'm now going to follow it with what i think sorry about this towel but again you need to know this is not cut away this is not edited this arm it's just after the products that I've been using, and I've been using them on my decolletage and all over my body. And this little gem is the Afterglow. Now, you know when you see people sitting in restaurants or sitting in a, and their legs just glow, and their body and their, their torso glows, their arms glow, and you think, how did they do that? Is it that moisturizer that just hasn't sunk in? You can achieve that with the Afterglow. And this is what I said, um, has the research from the face serums they have actually put into this. It has the signature lemon scent and you just slap it on. Oh my gosh. And they also say, now look at this, just look at this. I've just got some on my chin, sorry. Look, I love arms. I really love arms. You know how much work I put into my arms and my legs. Um, as I said, I can't show you my legs because I can't move the camera without editing. Look at that. 
how it gives my arm definition and shape. That's not really what it's about, but it also gives it a bounce and hydrates and it's beautiful. So they also say with this, with the serum, the afterglow, you can also put it on your hair. If you like me, you've got very bleached or dry hair, you can pop that on. So I'm gonna leave the link below. I think I am one of the first people to have been chosen to promote this in the UK. So I've used the Hot X, I followed it by the whip, and then to top it all off, to get this wonderful glow, I have used the Afterglow Mantle. It's fantastic. Check out the website. And Mantle, thank you for choosing me. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I very seldom film on a Saturday night, um, but I'm vlogging tonight only because I'm meeting my oldest ever school friend from this country. Um, so you've met her before on the vlog. We were at school together in Horsham, Horsham High School for Girls. I met her when I was 13. So um, how, gosh, I'll work, you can work that out for yourself. 13, 50, oh God, that can't be true. 55 years. 50, 54 years I've known her. That is ridiculous. She's back. Oh gosh, I'm, I don't usually go this route. This must be. Thank you, Satnav. This In is one point five miles. Turn right onto Lambs Green. Oh, I will do. Gosh, um, I've not been down here. This is, these are little country villages. Um, so yes, I'm going to meet her. Then she she's only literally here for a day, and I'm meeting her in the local pub where I have met her before with you. She and I, um, we both went to drama school. We both left school and went to drama school. She went to a London drama school. Gosh, have I done the right? I hope I have. Um, I hope I am not paying attention. Gosh, it's really nice down here. Um, she went to a drama school in London called Webber Douglas, which is now closed. I went to Rose Bruford. Um, and then we both lived in London for a long time. And then she moved out and had um, my... I think she's my goddaughter. I don't know if she is my goddaughter, her daughter, Liza. If she is my goddaughter, I've been a very lax godmother. Um, but anyway, she um, she truly is one of my best friends. And whenever I meet her, it's as though, this is a cliche, it's as though we've never not seen each other. Um, <clears throat> so there we go. And it's a beautiful summer's evening. It's a beautiful summer's evening. I'll let you sh have a little look at where I am in Sussex. We're meeting in we're meeting in the pub behind me, a pub called the Half Moon, but it's right on the edge of a graveyard and a beautiful church where my friend um, was in the choir. I think she was in the choir here. By the way, I call her Flea. Her name is Beth, but I've always called her Flea, so don't think I'm being offensive if I refer to her. But I've arrived a little bit early, so I just thought I'd walk around this graveyard. It's just really atmospheric and rather lovely in the evening, an August summer evening. very good light. It, it was, gosh, she's worried about the light. This is the titian haired um, Elizabeth Dauncey, who you all met. We met in the same venue, actually. Last year, this last time. Year. 
The same time last yeah. year. Was it the same time? It um, was, because it's my mother's birthday. She's 98. Of course. She's 98. She's a year older than my mum. Yes, that shows how young my friend is. <laughs> they both went to Shanklin, to Shanklin for, for their, their honeymoons. honeymoons. <laughs> and I went to Shanklin. Have you been there? No, never. I went there to I don't film a to there. documentary on... on um, beach huts they've got great beach huts anyway last time we were here my dear friend got off with someone well I say got off she's happy I always do. by the way but it's because I'm very she, happy yes married. she's very happily married but she met she met a lovely man out here I was hoping he might turn up tonight but he a, won't there's a party going on in there it's like the young it's ones. quieter than last year much quieter much quieter. that's because they've got a hog roast down the road oh there's a hog roast we I was looking at that church smells because that's where right your, try and get it right this road your this godson year. was christened correct and there where i got married and where you got married yeah <clears throat> but not the first time no no i can't remember which time it was in fact i'm going to show you a picture of me as her bridesmaid holding a miniature me oh as a i bridesmaid. hope you do that no i'm going to put it in i will insert it here because it's on my bedroom wall oh yeah my bedroom in horsham not in london <laughs> so really that would odd like because I have nothing on the wall just yeah, that that would be like a James Bond um, coming out of the grave situation it would be it and, truly and would those sort of dolls <laughs> yeah. we've just been reminiscing because when I was driving here I said we've known each other 50, over 50 years over 50 years Mel. it's true it's 52 true. years no. how many of you viewers will have been alive that long? no well and we're here to tell you the tale of it. i have a very diverse audience so they might have been we're also on the flight path you can hear that mm -hmm. um but also there's a heaving disco so Going my on. friend has been drinking a uh, pinot and i'm driving so i've been on elderflower and i've got to get Elder. back mm -hmm. because um i have duties back at home yep Say goodbye. I don't have any duties. She's not here. She lives no in Devon. She's in got Devon. the wetsuit. Oh, you know I was saying that I want a wetsuit. She's got a half wetsuit. My wetsuit is my favourite garment. And she paddle boards with all her family in Devon, and that's what I'm going to start to yes, do. Yes, you must In try. Shoreham. That's yes. going to be my new hobby. Paddle boarding is the way forward. Yes. As long as you're paddling forward. Yeah, exactly. Mm. They paddle on a big family paddle board. It'll just be me solo like I am in life. Yeah. Oh, Unless dear. I get myrtle so on it. Yes. In a little myrtle in a wetsuit. <laughs> Say goodbye, smells. Bye-bye, smells. <laughs> Anyway, this is Lucy. She's on my lap, which, you know, is exactly where she likes to be. She's not mature. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to really figure out. I'm going to stop that. You, many of you, many of you will recognize who that is. That is Kimberly. Pretty Over 50 is her YouTube channel. Many of you have come to me because of Kimberly. She is from the United States. I'm trying to work out, she's in the south, and I'm not quite sure if she's in South Carolina. I'm going to work out where she is. Um, but she moved from the west coast, and um, she, I've talked about this before, anyway, she mentioned that she follows me on YouTube, and oh my goodness, my subscribers leapt in a way I could only dream of. Um, and um, she then asked if we could do a QA. and a um, with her asking the questions and me giving the answers and I had planned on simulcasting so that Philippe could film he could mix it so that I could put it out um, which he's having to work because Philippe does a lot of other work as well so he's busy he can't do it today but I am going to do that um, I'm going to repay her the kindness and do a Q&A Zoom with her. So what I'm doing today is setting up for the Zoom with Kimberly, And um, I am really nervous because I have verbal diarrhea, as you know. I go on and on. People ask a question and I never shut up. And I've got to check myself because she is incredibly calm, warm, measured. And I'm just... Brrr. So... Um, you know, I've got to, I've got to rein it back a bit so that it doesn't become a wall of noise, which I can often do when I'm doing interviews. But I want to be in the best possible position, so I'm just trying to sort out the light. There's so many sirens going on. It's the middle of the day in the middle of London, two o'clock my time. So I'm not sure. I think she'll be ahead or she behind. It may be 
she might be but oh, I will ask her anyway so I oh gosh what's happened to Myrtle I'm hoping Myrtle might be in on it um, because her dog Lucy is so well behaved so I'm hoping Myrtle will come in and do a bit of it with me I don't know where to put the camera to film her filming me if you get my meaning so this this seems a good setup oh Mert I think they want you to be in the picture Mert Mert why won't Mert Mert I think they'd like you to be in the picture. We'll just let Mert do her own thing. So I'm going to be talking here on the fruit bowl to Kimberly, and Myrtle is just watching. From there. From there. Yes. So I have my green tea, and now we just sit and wait. So I think this is flattering. I have light. This, I vlog from here, as you probably realise, so there's light on my face. I never use artificial lights. Sometimes I do if I have a brand and I want a light on a package, but I never have artificial light on me, ever. Um, all my light comes from this window, which is why I really can only vlog on a good day. Uh, Myrtle is here. I don't think she's in shot here, but she'll be in shot with Kimberly. And I need, this is so weird, isn't it, when you're waiting for a Zoom to be invited in. And I just, I just think this is so kind of her, and I just hope I don't disappoint her or let myself down. Myrtle's just like, oh please just get on with it. Okay, so um, very important, cup matching blouse. I'm in Rixo, as you've probably guessed. Right, I'll just sit here now and wait for the host to invite me in. Funny. Oh gosh, one of us has messed up and I expect it's me and we got the timings wrong because I've been sitting there for half an hour and it says um, the meeting's at 7pm and I thought it was at 2pm. It's so annoying because Myrtle is never going to be like this again. You'll never be in the right position ever again, will you? Because I know what you're like. Hey? Yes, you were perfectly placed. And I had my makeup perfect and my hair perfect. It'll never be like this again. Anyway, we are going to do this. I promise you, we are going to do this. It will be my fault, not Kimberly's. It will always be my fault. I can guarantee you, me and technology are not good. <gasps> At last, what must you think? Recording in progress. Can you hear me? I can hear you so well, Kimberly. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can, I can. I have to tell you, this is the highlight of my month. I am so grateful to you for giving me a few minutes of your time. Thank you. She's so heavy. There's hello. Oh. <laughs> I don't often film in here. I'm filming in here. Gosh, I'm using the flat. Certainly in this vlog, aren't I? Every single of my three rooms I'm using. No, the reason I've been lying on the bed reading and um, I never talk about books I read because I've got to the stage where I read books for a living because my show, I'm required to read books because I interview a lot of authors. So it's shamefully I'm not reading books many books through choice this is the first book I have bought 
in years, literally years. And um, I'm ashamed to say it's a self-help book. Well, it's under the self-help section and I don't like self-help books. I just think we can sort it out ourselves. I know that's a very unpopular, probably, take on life. Um, but I was listening to a podcast and Julia Cameron was on this podcast and I just stopped what I was doing and I just thought, oh my gosh, I love what she's talking about. And she was talking about creativity. Now, don't, this is not going to go down the route of some pretentious creative, uh, you know, I'm about as creative as all of you. And this is why I bought it, because we're all creative. All of us, we're human beings, we have creativity in us. And it's how we exploit it and uncover it. So it's called The Artist's Way, and it's endorsed by, I don't know if anyone has ever read Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert, a bestseller. She says that um, if she hadn't read this book, she would never have produced Eat, Pray, Love. Some of you may know the book, some of you may not. The reason I'm whittering on about this is because I can relate. She taught, you know, I'm not an artist. I don't paint. I don't write. Um, I am in, I'm creative in the way we're all creative. You know, some people garden. Um, some people write their diary every night. Some people uh, sew and knit. Um, you know, we all got a, a creative um, gene in us. And what she talks about is how to awaken it is probably the best way of putting it because sometimes you get this blank and um i arrogantly i actually it's the opposite for me i have so many ideas that i just have a problem channeling them because i think i want to do this and i you know with my youtube channel i want to do this with my radio show let's go and do this um and i have to just use a bit of self-discipline and channel them. This helps, all of this. It just gives you a sense of order and ideas. So if I just tell you this, she talks about the morning pages and this you can relate to writing a diary, writing a memoir, mm -hmm. any of you that want to write a novel. She says the thing to do, and loads of people say this, lots of authors say this, just write, just write, just get well, I like writing in longhand with a pen, but some of you may type, some of you may put it in your phone, but she says, just write. And what she calls it is the morning pages. So she says, every morning you wake up, write on a side of A4, in fact, I think she says two sides of A4, your thoughts. So you may be, it's, it's cloudy, my head hurts, I don't want to get up today, or I'm full of energy today, can't wait to meet so-and-so, dread going to work. Whatever you put, just write it. Don't put a style, don't put a form, just write it, put it in a drawer, and write some more the next day. And gradually, a theme and a straight line, hopefully, will start to develop so that you can think more clearly about what you want to create. Now, the other reason I'm interested in this is I'm going away. Never has a holiday been made so much of, and I still say I'll be amazed if I get there. <laughs> and I, I have a very, very strong work ethic. I worked, probably like many of you, since the moment my pocket money stopped at the age of 14. I went out and did a Saturday morning job. Um, I worked throughout the holidays when I was at drama school. I've always worked and I love working. I love it. So when I stop, I feel quite guilty. And I just think, what am I, I should be doing something. Um, and so she writes about that. And I don't want you to think this sounds elitist, but she says, an artist must have downtime to do nothing. Defending our right to such time takes courage, conviction and resilience. Such time, space and quiet will strike our family and friends as a withdrawal from them. Well, it is. For an artist, withdrawal is necessary. Without it, the artist in us feels vexed, angry and out of sorts. If such deprivation continues, our artist becomes sullen, depressed and hostile. We eventually become like cornered animals snarling at our family and our friends to leave us alone and stop making unreasonable 
demands. Now, any of my friends will know, I often never answer the phone. I just don't answer the phone. I very seldom ever call anyone. I'm dreadful because I just don't want to break the spell, basically. This, I do sound, what do I sound like? I sound so pretentious. And they, you know, often you can hunt for what you believe in a book. In other words, I have permission to go on holiday, but that's not what this is about. I just, I find it really interesting. You can take what you want from it. And it's not for people who are employed as creatives, as I've said, all of us. I have a friend who was at school, a brilliant artist, brilliant, so good in art classes, and now never paints, never draws, never illustrates. And I just hope she reads this. I hope she's watching. You know who you are. Anyway, I just thought I'd pop that in. Um, and I don't like the cover. I want it to be more academic than that. It looks like a self-help book, but my goodness me, it is a fantastic read. It says something. Why don't you... Right, just do this now. It, it lists things that you've loved in your life. And it says, what did you love in your childhood bedroom? Recreate that in your adult bedroom. So obviously... It doesn't have to be a whole rack of Barbie dolls. Or maybe it does. Just something that is, you know, look, mine was, and look, I have got an artificial doll stuck in my bedroom. So yeah, I'm living, I'm living it. Julia, I'm living it. She loves Philippe. She absolutely, Philippe is here. Look, Hello. sorry, Philippe. She, <laughs> I'm gonna, because otherwise you're in the light. She loves, she's been licking your water bottle. <laughs> I get into such a state when Philippe comes, because Philippe said, um, sure, we haven't met since Christmas, can you believe that? And he said, shall I come for a cup of coffee after work? Cup of coffee? Actually, that's a lie. You just said, shall I pop round? And I immediately thought, oh God, he's going to leave. Because if, if Philippe, I will, I will tell all of you here and now, get away from the light, if he goes, there's no vlog. It's literally as simple as that. It, there is no vlog if Philippe goes. Um, and also, Philippe, there were loads and loads of comments this week about the music choice. You never answer them. Because some of them, it's you. <laughs> that sometimes the music is mine. <laughs> Usually it's Philippe. But sometimes it's mine and I always, I always want to call you and go, oh, they really love my music choice. Because <laughs> we get into such a... God, Philippe is so patient because he has a very important daytime job. Don't you? Yeah. And then I'm throwing stuff at you, saying, can you put this in and can you do that and blah, 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 blah. But the music, do you think the music is the trickiest part of yeah, editing? definitely. Every time I get, you, you send me an email saying, put music over these clips. I'm like, here we go. <laughs> and he sends me, he sends me musical choices and I just go, because you, you send... You love depressing music. No, it's, it's, that's literally all the website shows most of the time. So I don't know how you find some of them. I know, actually. It takes a while. It takes a while. Because, you see, the music we play, we do pay for, but not as much as if we were taking it off someone's website. Mm -hmm. It's royalty free, is that Yeah. It? Yeah, so it's a li license to use them. Look at that. Do you love Philippe being here? Yes. You do. Last time I saw her, she was like this She size. was tiny. Um, should we tell everyone what we're doing? Yeah. So, um, my laptop has the keyboard went on it. So whenever I email anyone, it's one long line with no punctuation points and no capital letters. And it was, a, apparently it was a keyboard that I think they had to recall because it was so bad. But I'd missed the opportunity to return it. So I've stuck with it. And Philippe said, look, um, I'll sell you mine. So I'm now, I'm now using his laptop, which is much bigger. Yeah, it's uh, 15 inches and this one's 13. Uh, tiny, yeah, <laughs> tiny. Um, but I don't care, just to be able to send emails with punctuation points. But also, you're so, I've got all your information on my laptop now. No, I erased everything. <laughs> So you're not going to be able to see any. <laughs> Can you imagine? That would be my late night viewing. <laughs> Everything on his laptop. Anyway, um, Philippe, what have you got on your channel recently? Uh, Portugal trips. Yes. 
oh my god you must watch those because he had oh my god i hope when i go to spain it's not going to be what you went through with your passport it was so stressful mm, really stressful and he's portuguese and he went through it i know so who knows what you're going to go through god don't say that <laughs> so um where can people find or would they know where to find you because you put all your details on my vlog People ask if they can see your girlfriend. They've only seen her fleetingly. That's the thing. I was going to do a third part of my Portugal trip because my girlfriend came came to Portugal as well. But that third week, it was just I was so tired. We were doing so much with my dad, so I just didn't really. And I just wanted to spend some time with them without sticking a camera in yeah. their spaces. Yeah. But she's beautiful. We should see more of her. Anyway, if you want to know where you can find Philippe's YouTube channel, hit that. And every detail of his life is underneath this vlog. Say goodbye. Bye, everyone. He's going. He's going. Yes. I'm on the uh, Maida Vale Canal. In fact, I'm just going through from Regent's Park through to Primrose Hill. And I love, I absolutely love this walk. It's the walk I do from my home in Marylebone through Regent's Park across this little footbridge. <laughs> and into Primrose Hill. And it's a fantastic part of London and the reason I'm going is I'm actually going to Belsize, uh, Belsize Park to um, my hygienist to have a clean and polish but I've walked, you know, it's just so nice. I haven't brought my phone, it's very busy as you can see, it's the school holidays but um, the weather is just perfect walking weather. I don't walk enough through quiet places. I know for many of you watching this, it's so full of people, you probably don't think it's quiet at all, but <laughs> compared to where I live in London, this is peace. And um, it's really, really nice. Gosh, someone's just compared that to Jumbo. And it is like Jumbo, it's like a miniature Jumbo, if anyone knows Jumbo in Hong Kong. <laughs> Jumbo's dead. No! Yeah. Jumbo's gone in Hong Kong. Yeah. It's sunk. Well, they shut it and then they towed it somewhere and then it sank. Are you from Hong Kong? We are. We oh, are. you lucky, lucky no, people. What? You're moving here? Um, have you been there since they've taken it back? Yeah. Yeah. And has it altered much? Yeah. It has, it's yeah. changed. So that's why you're coming back here? One of the reasons. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. This gentleman's from Hong Kong. Um, and I've, I've worked in Hong Kong a lot when I was an actress and I absolutely love it, but I haven't been back since it lost its own independence so um, and Jumbo is this big floating Chinese restaurant it's very famous very touristy and this is tiny this one compared but it is beautiful it is beautiful we're gonna have to try it out it is beautiful <laughs> and London's beautiful so you've made a good choice you Thank really you. have cheers bye you and you bye this is what I love about uh, London do you know I was just thinking I walked I walked through Regent's Park and every nationality is out um, well, it was just wonderful so anyway I'm now going to oh my gosh here's a Mr. Whippy now I don't think I don't think I inserted the clip of my mother and I at a petrol station behind a Mr. Snowy, I think it was. We were absolutely mystified. In fact, I went and spoke to the man. But this is, is it a, it isn't a Mr. Anything. It's just a soft whip. Look at this. I have just, oh my gosh. I've just walked here from Primrose Hill and this shop is selling an Italian brand called Dixie. And just look, I love the back because I can't show too much of my back, but the most beautiful cotton, absolutely wonderful. So yes, I'm going to get this. It is affordable for me at the moment. Check it out. Dixie is the label. I love it. Absolutely love it.
This is it. And look and have a look. This is Pamela Schiffer. Hi there. <laughs> and she's wearing the prototype. So um, it's because Pamela, Pamela, you don't mind me doing this, do no, you? No, no, not at all. It's because she had it on. Have a look. Oh, look. Just look. Um, and it's a, as I said, this is a label called Dixie. There you are, everyone. You can see me. Um, and it's an Italian brand. Is that right? Yes, it is. Italian, yeah. The most beautiful cotton. Yeah. And they're known for their dresses, they're known for their separates and their uh, tailoring as well. So it's definitely one of our top brands in the store. And I said to Pamela, I say this, you know, you know wherever I go, if I see people wearing the items and I love them, then I just immediately want to try them on. And I, I honestly, all you independents, please wear what you're selling because I, would ne I said to Pamela, I would never pick this up off the rail. It was when I saw her in it, I just thought, oh my gosh, it's the right, it's tomato red, the most beautiful fabric, and just a bit of the back showing. Um, and I said to Pamela, I've got to uh, fake tan my back. It's like this awful flabby bit of white, but never mind. Because um, we have pockets. We have, oh my gosh, look at oh the pockets. Oh my gosh, we have pockets. We cannot have a dress now without pockets. <laughs> I'm going to stand next to Pamela, um, and you we're can see that we're going to be, yes, well, that's flattering of you to say so. <laughs> Almost like mother of daughter, I'm afraid, I could be your mother. There. there. Look at our lovely... Look at these. Yes. This could be the thumbnail. Yes, why not? Yes. <laughs> Hi, Pamela. So, here I am, right at the top of Primrose Hill, where all the beautiful people live, with my newly acquired dress I know I worry about myself I'm sure a lot of you worry about me why can't I stop buying dresses I love dresses so much um, thing is I wear them I wear a different dress nearly every single day that's my only excuse um, I'm going to end the vlog here on Primrose Hill this week it's the most beautiful beautiful day I, I don't know if you can hear this because there is a bit of wind not coming from me um, I'm not going to finish with Dave this week because I might be driving in um, tomorrow which is my last night um, before I go on holiday which means um, it, it, I won't be going back with him in his cab <coughs> excuse me so um, what can I say to you um, I know I've been behaving a bit like an old granny uh, over this holiday. I mean, I've spent my life traveling. I traveled from a very early age, back and forth across the world. I have never dithered as much as I have done over this. And I, uh, I think it's because I haven't traveled since I came back from Kenya before the pandemic. And since the pandemic, there's so much that's changed, like, you know, whether you've got to have um, proof of vaccination, PCR, lateral flow, decanting, you know, what I can take in the cabin. I only ever take hand luggage, as I've told you. All of this has put me in such a panic, even if the flight is actually going to leave. Um, and I should just let, I should let it go, go with the flow. Once I'm at the airport, just sit and read my book and vlog. I will be vlogging um, if I can get my equipment through in my hand luggage without breaking it. Um, can I thank the wonderful Kimberly? Oh gosh, someone's puffing up that hill. Can I thank the wonderful Kimberly, um, over pretty over 50? Her Q&A will be going out today, so if you go, I'll put the link to her channel below, um, and you can see her Q&A. And I am responding by doing a Q&A with her you have to watch this space and I will tell you exactly when it's going to be she's far more of a closed book than I am um, I am so intrigued by her what a generous warm woman so um, yeah watch out for that what else have I got to say the walking women of Carnaby Street um, a couple of you have said when I'm in London I want to find the walking woman it's in Carnaby Street here comes the wind sorry about this here comes the rain, I think. Actually, I, I, hopefully it's gonna fly over. Um, what else have I got to tell you? Mantle, fantastic brand. Look at 
the smoothness and of my body. Scandinavian brand. Um, very supportive of them. I like what they stand for. And um, I'll leave the link to that. They're going to offer you 10% off, actually. 10% off, um, which is really nice. That was a bonus. That only just came through. So thank you, Mantle. Um, and that's it. It's all about this wind. And Philippe, you're going to have to edit this in the wind. I'm going to end with the shot from Primrose Hill of my beautiful London. Just have a look at my beautiful London.